in this era of high throughput sequencing the importance of genomic or cdna libraries are kind of diminished but back in 1970s screening cdna libraries or screening genomic dna libraries was crucial for the scientists to know more about the genome or the transcriptome now that is why let's talk about the screening strategies that they used to use for knowing that a particular cdna of interest or a gene of interest is present in a library or not and one of the technique that they use is called colony hybridization so let's see how it is done so let's say we have taken a cell and under certain circumstances we wanted to know about the expression libraries so we need to dissociate the cell break the cell membrane take out the rna make cdna of it and then clone this cdna in specific vectors now we have a collection of vectors we would transpect these vectors into e coli and in a plate we would have thousands of colonies each harboring a specific sequence of interest now it's a probability event we don't know which colony correspond to which of these gene of interest now our goal is to identify this particular gene whether it is present in these in the among these colony or not and in order to do that we can use a technique known as colony hybridization so let me introduce you to that technique so first of all we have to do our replica plating that means we have to have two plates with exact equal architecture of the colonies now after that replica replica plating we put a nitrocellulose membrane and on this nitrocellulose membrane some imprint of these colonies would be there and note that there is a marker which would help you to understand in which orientation you have traced these colonies from the plate now in this nitrocellulose membrane we can fix this nitrocellulose membrane and add a reagent which would denature the cellular components and expose the dna or cdn expose the dna or cdnas now after that we need to identify this cdna sequence or dna sequence whether it is present or not in order to use do that we would use radio label probes or any kind of label probes after putting the radio label probes the sequence of interest if it is present then we would see it would hybridize with these radio label probes if it is not present then it won't hybridize with the probes and the probe would not show any signal so after washing this nitrocellulose membrane if you develop it then you would see at a specific region you would see a spot later on tracking that particular spot to a corresponding replica plate you would know the location of the colony which is harboring your gene of interest or your cdna of interest then we can isolate that colony and expand that colony for our further future usage so this is all about colony hybridization fairly simple to understand but this process was very important in 1970s or 1980s but honestly these days nobody use this technique that much so, but anyway we learned about colony hybridization in this short video so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support me in patreon and you can access my course in an academy using my code ap10 you would get a 10% discount thank you guys